Hi everyone, welcome to the latest gunfire video. In today's episode, we're not at the museum, we're at my personal home, and this is my personal vehicle. It's a Renault 2067 Gullet, former Belgium Army from 1954. We're gonna try and fix a gearbox issue where the vehicle has a tendency to slip out of second and fourth gear when driving over bumpy terrain. So the idea is to open up the gearbox and see if we can locate the problem and fix it. First thing to do is get the rain cover off. I'm not going to fully remove it, should the weather change, because it's a hassle to get it up all the way on the back, because it's a high vehicle. Makes it a bit easier to access. Okay, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is remove the seat of the driver because it gives us more space to move around. So we are now sitting in the passenger seat and let's have a look at what we need to do. So first we move the driver's seat, there's two bolts underneath the cushion and then once we loosen those it can slide out, that gives us more space. What we will need to do then is remove the cover plate which is held down by those bolts over there, there's two here, but in order to do that we need to also remove this plate that goes around the engine compartment because it sits on top of that one and to do that you first need to also take off the engine cover here so removing the engine cover lift this one remove this one Thank you. 
and then remove those bolts. Oh, loosen them. And then these two, oh, okay, because these are connected to a plate below, which allows it to slide in and out. Okay, good. Now we can have already a bit more space. So I have unbolted this cover plate so it's loose. I cannot fully remove it because of this thing here. So this is not original uh, and it's the lever for the starter. So normally you pull this one, this lever here, to engage the starter but the cable's broken and the previous owner had uh, fixed it by this lever. So by pressing down on here you can see the starter engaging so that's something that I'll need to re replace at a later date but I mean it's working fine as it is today so no rush good let's remove the plate okay let's see if we can move this one a little bit good enough and now the other place free. Let's remove this box. There's not a lot of room in the cab, especially for the passenger, but I've seen worse. And that was the last one. And it's loose. Now to get it out. So I've tilted up the passenger seat, which gives access to the battery compartment. And the reason for that is because there's this wire here that needs to come out otherwise I cannot lift this plate so there's a small screw there that I need to undo and then I can take it out so the plate finally came off it's a bit of a wiggle and now we can see the gearbox and the shifter fixation point which is held back by one two three, four, five, six bolts. And here on this side, there are three springs, which press down to steel balls, which uh, in turn prevent the three rods from the shifting mechanism to slip out of position. So my guess is that, or my hope maybe, <laughs> is that one of these springs is broken or maybe even missing. Uh, and that is the reason why the shifter keeps dropping out of position. As you can see, it's already quite loose. It has a tendency, because of its weight, to drop forward. Okay, let's undo the cover. So what I've done now is first of all put, I don't know if you can see it, a big bucket underneath the gearbox, just in case if there's any oil leaking out, uh, especially from this lowest bolt 
could be that if I unscrew that one, depending on how full it is, some more will drop out. I haven't unscrewed all of the bolts yet. I just loosened them up. It's always better to loosen them a bit. If you have one that is really stuck, you can then still decide to tighten all the other ones again and call it a day. <laughs> but at least it saves you a lot of work having to unscrew uh, or screw in all the other ones again if there's one that's stuck. And here we have our gear shifter lever out. Let's see if we can get a close up. We'll have to replace the seal, but I already got some silicon for that to replace that one. And there's the mechanism. If I push this button here, you can see the mechanism for the reverse. So before we reinstall that, I'm gonna clean it a bit. Okay, let's now look at the gearbox itself. And here we have the mechanism. And I don't know if you can see it clearly. It's trying to make it a bit brighter. Here are the three springs. And I think that this one looks to be a bit shorter, so this could be the culprit. So we'll take them out, clean them up, also clean this section to make a proper seal again. And then reapply everything and hope it works. So here you can see the assembly of the gear shifter. And uh, this is where the three springs are. I think let's look at here. So here you can see the function of those springs. They press down onto this metal ball, which keeps this rod from moving. And you can see that there's a tree here. So here we have our three springs. These are three replacement springs. And if you, well, it's hard to show on the camera, but this is definitely not so springy anymore. This one's okay. This one's quite good still. But then this one, you can clearly see it's very hard to press down, but definitely this one, there's a segment here that is completely wasted. So I'm guessing that this is the culprit. So yeah, hopefully we're in luck. And this is what it looks like. Properly cleaned. Hey, it looks red instead of disgusting gray brownish. So that's that part. Let's have a look inside. The biggest problem was getting the old seal off, but I think I managed quite okay. Now, since the gearbox is open anyway, let's see if we can do an oil change as well. First, I need to check if I have the proper oil, and then look in the manual how much we need, and then fill it up. So, getting ready to drain the oil, the transmission oil. Now, I've used this funnel because the bolt to drain is just above the transmission. So otherwise it's gonna be a big mess. So I hope I can capture it via the funnel into the bucket. And then we have our new oil ready. According to the manual, we need around 1.35 liters of transmission oil. And now it's time to fill in the new oil. Drainage went quite okay, didn't spill that much. So yeah, let's put in 1.35 liters. So with the oil back in, we can now put in the springs. One. Okay. 
let's put everything back together. So, gear shifter is back in position. Now it's time to do a quick test before we reattach all of the plating to see if it takes the right gears, if the lever is in the right position. So let's do that. So, we managed to fix the gearbox, well we hope we fixed it. And now it's time for a test drive to see if everything works. Let's go. See you guys next time, hopefully for another repair workshop. Goodbye! And thanks to my cameraman, Sebastian. <laughs>